Hello, I'm Atuba Judd. Now, today is Friday, and we've been talking all week about the laws of prosperity. Now, it's obvious we, we can't finish it this week, so we'll have to take it into <laughs> next week. And what a good way to start a new month, you know, you know, talking about prosperity in a season of restoration that God has set. That's why you shouldn't miss our program tomorrow. See, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, don't miss it. 5 p.m. at the Zeus Paradise Hotel in the city of Abuja, Mabushi area in Abuja. You can't miss it. Listen, plan to be there so that the Spirit of God will carry you into the season of restoration and begin to restore things in your life. Praise God. Now, we've been talking about the laws of prosperity and I said, participate. We've talked about one, settle it in your heart that it is God's will for you to prosper and He's done everything. Number two, speak or confess in accordance with this truth. So number three, I say physically participate in the things that have to do with prosperity, in things that enhances prosperity. And I said participate in tithing, participate in, in giving of offering. Now, now tithing itself, it's, it's part of an offering, see? But you must understand that when you tithe, it's a covenant. It, it, it's something anyone go do a study go do a study of businesses that have I'm talking about businesses in this world that have lived for generations when I mean generation I'm not talking about five years ten years no I'm talking about business that have reached that have gone over a hundred years and you are still seeing the visible products today go and study you will see that they were connected to the owners, the original owners were serious titles. Go do that study for yourself. Any business that have lasted over a hundred years, go check it out for yourself. And you'll be the one to share these truths, praise God. So, titan, it, it is a covenant with God. For every, There is no man that God have prospered. I'm telling you, in scripture and in this life, there is no man that God have prospered. I mean, a man who will tell you that he owes all his blessings, all his prosperity, financially or otherwise, to God that will tell you he wasn't a tithe. I want to see that man. I'm not talking about someone who stole money and said it is God. I'm talking about the one who can tell you step by step how God have prospered him. You will find out that he was a tighter. He took tithe seriously. Now, I'm a tithe. And I can tell you how so well God have helped me and, 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 and blessed me in life. Praise God. So, so I, can, I can understand when people are saying don't tithe or don't give. You see, so I hear people say you can give but don't tell people that they must tithe. Ignorance is going to rampage. I'm telling you the truth. Like I said yesterday, ask them. Did the Holy Spirit specifically tell you don't tithe? Or are you just trying to using your, use your head to reason it out? That settles it. Praise God. So I said, participate in things that, that do with tithing and, 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 and with, with prosperity. By giving, all forms of giving, giving, of, giving to the poor, tithing, whatever you call it, just make sure you are giving. Now, there's no way you work with the Holy Spirit that he will not make you give. You see? Now, next thing is stay out of debt. Don't owe. You see, it's a practice. It's something you do. It's not a prayer. It's something you make up your mind for that I will be out of debt. I'm not going to borrow. Of course, that's God's will. God says, you shall not borrow. He said, you will lend to nations. You shall not borrow. Now, let me read Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Look at this. It says, Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another had fulfilled the law. He says, Oh, no man anything. Don't owe anybody anything. Let me read this from the Amplified Version. It says, Keep out of debt and owe no man anything. See? Keep out of debt. It's a command from the Lord. Stay out of it. Don't, don't, don't get into that place. You know, you have to borrow. If you don't borrow, there's no way you can make. Uh, you see, when you, when you begin to borrow, you are taking yourself out of God's prosperity. That's the truth. Let me tell you this. Anything you borrow to get, 
you will eventually lose it. It's the truth. If you borrow to build a house, you will lose that house eventually. I'm not saying because you couldn't pay. Even if you finish paying that house, if the foundation of that house is in debt, hear me? When God, except you want to just stay on that line and never grow in God, when you begin to walk with the Lord, one of the things the Lord will command is to give away that house. I know him to be true for this. Because he wants everything you have, the foundation should be in him. That's the truth. Now, so stay out of debt. Next, pay the things that are due. If you have staff, pay them well and on time and pay them good. If you, government taxes, pay government taxes. See, some say, ah, please, leave me alone. No, 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 no. You are, you are participating in things that show prosperity. See, now, let me show you Romans chapter 13 and verse 7. Verse 7. It says, Render therefore to all their dues. Now, when you read this from verse 1, he's telling you to be subject to authority and all that. So it says, Render therefore to all their dues. Who, who's talking about government dues? So pay your bills, pay your light bill, pay your water bill, every bill, you no, know, they are contributing money in your estate. Don't do, please. I, I'm not, I'm not part of this. Con- no, 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 no. It's a due. Pay it. I said, but I don't have money. That's why you are believing in prosperity. See? So don't, don't. I, I remember one time, you know, several years ago, you know, they had, I've got, you know, they came to cut my water because we hadn't paid, you know, for a while. And then, actually, I paid. And then, but not up to that amount because what, what we were owing was, was quite much. So I paid some money, but I said that money was not enough. So I went to their office and I was trying to, talk to the manager to see reasons with me why okay you know what just let this go for now and then i'll pay the balance and while i was talking to the manager and he was saying no until i pay this balance and then the word of the lord came to me see i've never heard this before and then the lord spoke to me and said son don't you know you should believe me to pay all these bills i said lord i'm sorry he said, i'm sorry so I stood up from that office and I told the manager, okay, son, all right, I'll pay it. And then I walked in. I said, Lord, what do I do? And then the Lord said, pay everything. And I'll give you the money to do it. I said, Lord, and let me tell you, in two days, the Lord gave me the money and we paid everything. <laughs> Praise God. And from that day, it became a policy never to owe. Now, how? Because I'll trust God to meet all those bills. And he pays on time. Praise God. I've gone so far today because you needed to understand this. Let me tell you something. Next week, I'm going to continue on this. You know, because we need to talk practical things now. So that you will be blessed. You will enjoy prosperity. And you will see all the goodness of God in your life. Praise God. Remember, tomorrow I will be looking out for you. Praise God. The information is on the screen. Don't miss it for anything. I'm Atubo Judge. Have a great weekend. (laughs) Until next week, this is Atubo Judge. Bye-bye.